Take it up with Jessica Lee. Thanks for joining us. Today I'm very excited to have my guest here, Shomi Aurora, who is an engineering manager at PayPal. Shomi, welcome onto the show. Thank you so much for having me here, Jessica. It's great to talk with you again. I know we met once yes. uh, at a, a meetup and uh, I'm so excited to have you here. I know you joined PayPal recently, so please tell us about your engineering career journey a little bit and why you joined PayPal. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm so excited to be here and talk to you about Tech It Out. And uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about my background, where mm -hmm. I come from. So I was born in a really small town in India on the shores of River Ganges. Mm -hmm. So basically the town was known for, uh, a very religious and holy town. People would come take and dips in the Ganges River. Yes. So it was a town that's like thousands of years old mm -hmm. and a classic definition of change as India is seeing it. And my parents, we didn't have a lot growing up, but what I had was that my parents always gave us the best education. And they knew that education was the only way we could cross the socioeconomic barriers. So, and then I remember I was in grade five or so, and uh, we were supposed to present something we created at school. And I presented a computer program where I made uh, something move. I think it was a Taj Mahal and I animated it and I made a program out of it and everybody loved it and I felt really good about it and I think since then I fell in love with computers mm -hmm. then I went on to become a computer science engineer then I worked in India for a little while I worked in London and then I ended up moving to US and eventually I made my way to Silicon Valley. Wow. And uh, very recently I joined PayPal as an engineering manager and I'm really excited to join the company because I think PayPal is the quintessential definition of fintech. Mm -hmm. It's one of the originals mm -hmm. and uh, they are a very diverse company. They value their employees and they are doing a lot of innovative and cool stuff. That's right. So I use PayPal. I love it. Awesome. Keep using it. <laughs> Great part of it. Yes. Yes. So it's exciting and I'm I'm looking forward to my journey. Okay, wonderful. Um, I know today um, is the actual one year uh, anniversary of the Me Too movement. Oh, wow. Uh, yes. Uh, at the same time, there's the unemployment rate that is the lowest in like 39 years. It's, it's like 3.7%. So the demand for talent is very strong, um, but yet there's a lot of um, discussions around equality mm -hmm. in the workplace, diversity, inclusion. So I'm wondering from your point of view, having been on the technical side engineering, have you seen changes? Have you experienced it yourself? I think that's a very relevant question in today's time. Uh, I'm very happy to say that the change is only for good. I have seen a lot of positive change happen in the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. When I started working, we never talked about it. We knew there was a you know pay gap. We knew things were not the same for men and women in my industry, but we kind of like hush hushed it. We didn't talk about it. We just knew it existed and mm -hmm. we just rubbed it off and went on with our lives. But I think in the last three, four years, we have become comfortable as a society, mm -hmm. as Silicon Valley, to be okay to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's a big progress. Right. And then also, I think there is a lot of endorsements that's happening from very, very small, uh, strong male leaders mm -hmm. around this topic. And I think that's actually actually making a positive impact because when people are accepting it acknowledging it that's the first step and I think but still there's a long way to go so I'm hoping that in another 10 years from now we don't even have that conversation okay. like people have acknowledged it and there are some actions taken on it and I think the actions will come on not just like we have to think about why that gender inequality in pay exists mm -hmm. and I think a big part of that is because the funnel for female engineers is very very low mm -hmm. so not a lot of female actually enter into the workforce a lot of them drop out when they start having family mm -hmm. so it's like you know a lot of things impact that and we have to look at every single thing of what we can do to make it better and I think having conversation like this having strong male leaders or female leaders endorse it is going to change it and I think the change is going to happen very soon I'm I'm positive about it great yeah and I I think you mentioned that PayPal has a lot of initiatives around mm -hmm. inclusion around attracting young uh, engineers top talent mm -hmm. um, and I think that's given the competitiveness in having top talent in the valley um, that's definitely a mm -hmm. smart thing to do in any company right 
So tell, tell me from an engineering manager's point of view, what is a day-to-day -day life like for you, for those who are not in uh, the engineering managerial mm -hmm. shoes now and the younger folks who are looking to get into engineering, what is your daily activities like? Yeah, I think it depends on week to week, but primarily a big part of my job, especially in Silicon Valley, is hiring and retaining top talent mm -hmm. because they are the foundation to a successful business. Mm -hmm. And you have to make sure you always keep looking for fresh talent. And you have to also make sure that the talent you have in the team is happy with the work they are getting, with the kind of, you know, how you are challenging them. So that's a big part of my job. And the other big part of my job is, you know, it's actually a misnomer when people People think that software engineering is a very isolated field you just work on a computer all by yourself mm -hmm. the truth is far from it because in order to make a big product which changes the shape of a company mm -hmm. you have to work with many many teams mm -hmm. I have worked sometimes with like 30 or 40 teams together doing oh, different wow. pieces mm -hmm. so a big part of my job is to have those relationships outside of your team mm -hmm. so that we can all come together and make something happen okay. so, so that's a big part of my job mm -hmm. and then also so like how do you uh, make sure that the how do you motivate the team to do the best job they can mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. that can be in form of like you know you can sit with them and brainstorm a technical solution you can send you can give them ideas and they can come up with interesting ideas themselves so I, I, I say this to myself that I'm successful at my job when I'm not needed at work anymore <laughs> then I can do something else and yes. grow with my team so I think that's that's how my day-to-day -day life looks like okay and uh, what uh, resources do you tap for ongoing learning, growing? Yes, I think that's also a very, very good question because if there is one thing or one advice I'll give to anybody who is just starting mm -hmm. or is new to this career, learning is a part of life mm -hmm. in this career. Mm -hmm. Things change every couple of years, if not every couple of months. So it's extremely important to keep yourself abreast with what is going on. Mm -hmm. So of course I do the conventional methods like, you know, Coursera, Udemy, then, you know, uh, other online channels to keep myself updated. But what actually works for me best is that I surround myself with people who who are smarter than me mm -hmm. so let's say you know i'm going out for drinks or i'm just meeting somebody casually for lunch or coffee we happen to talk about technology mm -hmm. we happen to talk about what is going on right now what i think will be the future what we should focus on so i think that really helps me mm -hmm. so, and some of the best advice technical or leadership advice i have gotten are the hallway conversation when nice. you just you know say hi to somebody mm -hmm. and you end up talking for five minutes and you end up learning a lot mm -hmm. so i think the, those are and also i would suggest that always surround yourself with people who do different things than you do software engineering is a very very vast field it's mm -hmm. not just one thing mm -hmm. you can be a data scientist you can be a site reliability engineer you can be a quality engineer so always surround yourself with people who do different things mm -hmm. and just talk to them and that inherently will never make you obsolete and will always keep learning what about organizations? Women in tech? Or? Yes, of course. I think I uh, I really enjoy attending a lot of meetups or volunteering for a lot of women in tech causes. Women Who Code is an extremely good meetup organization. Mm -hmm. I think they are doing really good stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they have a lot of, actually, they also do a lot of uh, dedicated sessions for mm -hmm. example they'll have a session on data science and data engineering for a couple of weeks when you can attend it like a program mm -hmm. and there is a lot of boot camps that are focused just on women one of them is hat right mm -hmm. which i've been involved in in the past so basically it's a boot camp organization that is created just for women who want to transition into software engineering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, like tapping into all those resources is also extremely extremely helpful okay um what inspires you and what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> Okay, what inspires me? I think change inspires me. Okay. Like when things don't stay the same, it's extremely like uh, rewarding to me. I it's see. like, you know, when like I... Like the challenge. Yeah, challenge which brings the change. So yes. I think that is exciting. And uh, what I like to do for fun is uh, I like to hike. I think hiking is my absolute uh, thing that I like to like, you know, just let it go and just go for a hike, you know, don't touch my laptop or computer or phone 
for one day out of the week so i think i really enjoy that mm-hmm. i i also like dancing i think it's my outlet out so mm-hmm. that's uh, that's a good thing and i like uh, and i like to be around friends i'm a people person so i like to you know talk to people and engage myself that way but i think hiking dancing once in a while cooking are kind of like my you know relax therapies Great. Well, it's been great to have you here to share insights on uh, career advice uh, as an engineering manager. I don't think there's that you know, often that you, you speak to a lot more men who are the engineering leaders. So um, it's delightful to actually have you here represent the engineering manager role uh, from a female point of view. So I appreciate being here and I hope the audience that you enjoy this discussion and learn something out of it. We look forward to having you back here in in maybe a few months when you've had a lot more going on at PayPal and can talk more about some of the engineering projects. Thank you so much, Jessica, for having me. This was a really good time. Thank you. Looking forward to coming back. Okay, there you go. Tech it up with Jessica Lee. Thank you.